Ninety veterans throughout eastern Iowa are getting a chance to see Washington, D.C.'s most iconic monuments for the 52nd Eastern Iowa Honor Flight. KWWL's Lily Seardahl is live with us now from the airport to share more about today's events. And I know, Lily, they got aboard soon, but I'm sure you've met a couple by now. Yeah, Katie and Ryan, it's been such a great morning meeting with all of the veterans, many of which very excited to embark on today's trip. And take a look at this line behind me here. Of course, you can see that's about 90 different veterans and their guardians lining up to aboard today's flight. This flight is expected to take off around 7 15 this morning and there's several veterans from Korean, World War II, Vietnam and the Gulf War. And I'm actually joined with one of those veterans right now. I'm joined with Vernon, who served during the World War II era. So kind of tell me a little bit about when you found out you were going to be on today's flight and what your reaction was. Wow. wow. Double wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm excited. really, really excited about it going and land the wreath. My goodness, I never dreamt it would happen to me. Yeah, and speaking of the wreath, you are going to be laying the wreath at the Arlington National Cemetery, which is a big deal. So, yeah, what is that kind of feeling like? <laughs> wow. I don't know. I can't imagine what it feels like until it's out over with, but I can't wait till it happens. I'm sure you're going to do an amazing job with that honor. And kind of talk a little bit about what some of your kind of experiences were like when you were serving. Well, I was with the first troops that landed on Japan after the bombs were dropped. And it was really scary as far as that goes, but we landed on an LST, I think they called it. And we, of course, we, we didn't know what was going to happen to, to the people that was on it. The Japanese people, what was they going to be like? But, Turned out that they, they was very friendly and ha happy the war was over. And they lost a lot of people with them when those atom bombs was dropped. But they, in my opinion, they saved a lot of people by dropping the bombs, getting the war over. And we was all glad. And what was your return home like um, when, when you returned home from serving? Oh, wonderful. Well, of course, I, I was in Japan for a year and a half, and uh, every day you wanted to go home, always wanted to go home. So I went home. When I got home, I was so glad that it happened, and it was uh, over. And I thought, well, I'll never have to do that again. <laughs> And so how does it kind of feel to be here today with a bunch of other veterans um, and kind of getting all the community support here? Well, all these people are my brothers, all of them, regardless of what, Navy, Navy or Air Force, or, they're all, we're all the same. Well, thank you so much, Vernon, for joining us this morning. And I... Uh, very good Thank luck you. for laying the wreath down later today. I know you won't need it, but of course, that flight is expected to return here later this evening around 9.20ish. And if you're interested in coming out and welcome all the veterans at home, you can find out that information on our website, kwl.com. For now, live in Cedar Rapids, Lily Cedar Dawn, News 7, KWL.